Hi, in this video I'm going to demonstrate some of the components of the roof and how to remove them. First of all, make sure the attic is my current uh, level and I shall right click, select visibility and I can go down to extension elements and remove various components of the roof like this, remove the cladding wood construction and details that's a bit all of nothing let's go back, switch them back on and now I'll show you how to remove individual components. Um, one way you can examine components is to go to materials, go to glass, white, select a glass material and drag it onto the roof tile and immediately my roof tile has become a glass texture. I could of course hidden the um, tiles but uh, this is just another method. Now if I right click, sorry, if I double click roof and go into cladding I can see the various components of the cladding. I'll move this over here. Um, I can remove the value flashing which is this down here. has changed and I can remove the ridge this is this component along the rooftop as you can see that's now gone and I can remove the verge board and gutter see they've also now gone. Double click the roof. Wood construction. Um, oh, one of the things I can also remove uh, what we should do is right click visibility Let's remove that roof panelling so we can see. So that grey panelling is now gone. So we can see the actual wood construction in all its glory. Right, here we have the uh, wood construction components. Let's go into wood construction and move some of these purlins. So remove the ridge purlin, which is here. It's now gone. And the other purlins. The inferior purlin is this purlin here. Now gone. Oh, let's have a look at that. Tin. So all the main beams are now gone. I can also adjust the collar beam here. And at the moment it's set to be on centre. I can select it to have a double collar beam on each side of each rafter as you can see there or I can remove the raft altogether sorry the collar beam altogether and then I can remove the rafter as well so I have no le wood construction left in my roof. I can still click the roof though. But let's put all those back.
Right, um, the other thing I can do is change all the materials on my roof. Cladding we've just looked at, wood construction we've looked at. Wood dimensions, I can change the individual dimensions of the actual rafters used. The best way to find these out is to change the dimension to a larger than normal dimension and see which one moves. Rafters, I can change the end cut. Eaves detail that we've just seen, we using the standard box Cornish gable ends. Again, we're getting right down to the fine detail here. So that's the general aspects of the roof. I can also change the various level detail of each roof side. Each of these roof sides uh, is numbered, in fact we've got eight here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If I click on that, we can see that's a hip end. And you click on any of these dimensions and you can change the minute detail of the structure. Really for roof engineers and anyone who wants to edit their roof in fine detail. So that's how you edit a roof.